Ryan, congratulations. You sit there happy, relieved, all at the same time, I'm guessing, after a roller coaster game. Yeah, um, relieved. Uh, I've had some bad results on the stage recently. You know, I haven't played much on the stage recently, obviously, with all this going on. Um, I'm so happy to get over the line. I mean, I think I played well yesterday against Simon. Um, missed a few chances and then the way he came back at me today, you know, fair play to him because every time he had a shot, he took it out and I was thinking, oh, just please miss and just give me a chance because I was always low when he when he was taking it out last dart or, you know, and I was thinking, God, just give me a chance. But um, I'm so happy to get over the line. The process because you were... I did, yeah, it did upset me a little bit. Uh, I, was, I felt really good. I was throwing really well. Um, but I still won that leg, so, you know, I can't, yeah. you know, I can't really uh, make an excuse for that. Um, but when you're so close to a nine dar, it does stick in your mind a little bit. And maybe that's perhaps what was, what happened to me for the next couple of legs. But um, I'm so happy to get over the line there. Were you pleased that you re-found your composure, though, towards the end? Yeah. It, it, it could have all I mean, gone so wrong. Yeah, I mean, that's... Perhaps what I've been lacking a little bit. I mean, I played so well in the first set against Danny Knocker at the Grand Prix, and then the break came, and after the break, I was rubbish. You know, um, focus completely went. I should, you know, I stayed on stage because I thought I was playing decent. I thought I'd stay on stage, continue throwing, try and keep my rhythm a little bit. But I should have went off stage and uh, just reset. Um, but yeah, I'm, that's 76. I've done that thousands of times when my man came at home. So, you know, that's pays tribute to, you know, what you do in practice. So. Do you feel you're getting back to somewhere near your best? Because we're seeing, like, glimpses of absolute genius on that board from yourself. Since lockdown, obviously playing more regularly now with the Winter Series and all these tournaments, do you feel we're close to the best Ryan Searle again? Yeah, I mean, I'm hitting a lot more 100-plus averages at the moment. Um, I feel like there's still plenty more in the locker to come, so uh, look out when it does. That's all I can say. Sets you up in your last group game. It's going to be Gary Anderson. We know that. Faith back in your own hands. Is that something that you like as a dark player? Because this round robin can play mind games with everyone, can't it? Yeah, it's it's not easy. I mean, if I if I'd lost that game there and I had to play Gary in the last game for nothing, it's a bit, you know. So to still be in the tournament and have something to play for, um, fate's in my hands is you know is a great thing. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that game. How do you approach the rest of the year as well? Obviously, the Players' Championship straight after this and then the big one is on the horizon. As a, as a dart player, is this a special time of year, even though we are in strange circumstances? It is. It's, you know, it's, this is the most important time of year. I feel like I'm in really good form. It's just I'm having little dips here and there where I'm missing a couple of shots and people aren't missing, you know. And I find that sometimes you can let that get to you where you feel like, when you do miss people always they'll hit that last start finish against you so um yeah i'm feeling good i mean i love ali pali that is my favorite place i've had a couple of good results there and um no yeah, i'm just looking forward to the rest of the year i mean this one's not over yet who knows what i can do in this one so um, ryan pleasure as always mate thank you very much thank you ryan well done on the winter there um we saw you win a players championship event uh, earlier on in the year did the first lockdown kind of halt your rhythm and set you back a little bit yeah, I think it did. I mean, you know, to win my first Players' Championship was, you know, great, especially the way I did it, the players that I beat on the way. Um, when you when you don't play any tournaments for four or five months, it's hard to get straight back into that, you know, that match sharpness and everything. So the way I'm playing now, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way I'm playing now. So, and I feel like there's still, you know, a few that extra 10% that I can put onto my game for sure. So, Do you feel like this tournament could be really useful? Obviously, a minimum of three games on the big stage just to get you back comfortable on the TV again. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying earlier, I haven't played on the big stage much. Um, and especially this year as well. I mean, I played in one Euro Tour um, and then there was nothing then to the Grand Prix. And I feel I played well in that first set. I played so well in the Grand Prix and that was a tournament I felt like I could do really well in and I was so good to to bow out of that in the first round after playing so well in the first set. But um, yeah, I mean, these three guaranteed games on the on the big stage will hopefully be a big help for the players in the, uh, the world's coming up. So, um, you know, who knows what I can do? I mean, you've, you've just seen there in the first three legs what I can do, you know, when I'm on it and I'm fully focused. So, you know, there's, there's more to come.
And the next game against Gary evokes memories of that brilliant game at the World Championship. I mean, do you ever look back at that game and think what might have been, what could have been? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, quite often. Um, I think the break came at the wrong time in that game when I was 3-1 I was up and I went backstage and I was thinking, oh my God, I'm 3-1 up against my, you know, my hero that I used to watch on TV before I was even playing darts. And, uh, you know, that was a, that was a weird situation. Um, and I let that get the better of me. Um, but I think I've learned from that. So, um, yeah, look, if I play my game, I know I can beat anyone. You know, as simple as that. You've seen what I can do when I'm on, when I'm on it. And, uh, yeah, I, just look, I look forward to just gaining more experience on the big stage. And Gary, you mentioned there you're darting hero, but a little bit of revenge tomorrow, perhaps? Well, hopefully. You know, you never know. Um, I know he's been limping around. He's got a bad knee. Um, so you try not to think about that. You've got to think that he's, you know, 100% fit. And, you know, like he says, you don't throw with your knee, you know, so he's still, he'll still be dangerous. All right.